Thanks for checking out this highlight from Epic Loot Radio. If you want to see the full podcast after the highlight, just check the top link in the description for more. Now back on update to update, yeah, update to the demo. <laughs> Brian, you, you, you can't read and you, and you speak. How about we put you on YouTube? That's a great idea, Brian. Um, the change should be uh, quite seamless, and I think it pretty much was. Uh, so some of these changes specifically related to enemies uh, are in response to feedback that we got coming from players as well as our own background metrics. So other changes, uh, they're uh, intending to only affect the demo but may not be implemented in the full launch build, and they kind of decipher this as we go forward through the, uh, the post. We would like to issue an explanatory note of caution before we go into these changes. While we have balanced the main game with certain progression systems in mind, this progression may be impacted by heavy farming and or gear of the mods in the demo some players are front loading a lot of that progression right right, <laughs> right now uh, and some players are they the front loading the progression uh such in trying to fill their mod library and acquire multiple legendaries guilty uh within the demo content already their experience of parts of the main game may be impacted yeah, I would not be shocked by that. Of course, it's every player's decision on how to play the game for themselves, and we do not want to prevent people from farming the demo for gear that they enjoy. However, we would like to ensure that the progression is not openly simplistic. So, they're going to go into some changes here. I like that. I like that they're not like, oh my god, people are being gamers, and they're trying to like break the game. They're being cool about it. I appreciate that. Anybody, anybody else like uh, worried about like people going in with full legendary sets into uh, in, on the first? <laughs> no, I in my last video, you know, I thought it was kind of funny. I think it's kind of silly that they didn't expect gamers, or kind of lead to that they didn't expect gamers to be gamers. It's a looter. We all play looters. We're here for the loot. If you're going to tell us that our progression is going to carry over naturally we're gonna we're gonna farm we're gonna farm our little butts off mm -hmm. and we found <laughs> yeah. a lot of different breaks right like essentially yeah when we talk about the theme about what's changing like the loot chest just like constantly just re reloading the loot chest the loot chest loot chest like mm -hmm. that in my mind is a little bit not in the spirit of fun and farming right you're like just reset go to lobby do the chest you're not like fighting anything you're not killing anything I personally didn't do that. My video really focusing on, hey, everybody's a is a chance to to drop. You know, if you think about that, it's all about the combat. And so yeah. let's let's talk about now the changes, and then I want to get y'all thoughts. So we'll focus in on kind of this in three sections. Uh, we'll talk about captains first, and then we'll just move down. All right, changes to captains. Uh, the captain mob ability healing light will have its effectiveness reduced. The captain mob ability fresh from the ashes and phoenix aura will have their cooldowns increased. And some players were finding it hard to fully kill the captains who would trigger these abilities, making for frustration rather than challenge a challenging but fun encounter. Did they just nerf ca captains to, to all get out? What do you think, Vulcan? Um, I don't think so. I think um, the healing light ability is basically like lay on hands from a yeah. paladin perspective. So um, Nice. I love that you bring up. Yeah, fan <laughs> fantasy. I love it. Go ahead. Um, so, yeah, if you're not kind of managing your interrupts or anything like that, then you can get down to 1% health and then they're going to full heal back to 100%. And I can see that being frustrating because this game is very go, 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 go. And um, having to re-kill the captain multiple times is, is not fun either. Uh, the from the ashes thing, I don't think that's as big of a deal. Um, I think that's a mechanic that some some folks might have not have realized that it's a timed buff. So when you cast it, it sits on their nameplate for, I think, 10 seconds, and then it'll fall off. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you can clear them. So it's really just kind of get them down 10%, clear some trash mobs, go back, clean them up, and then move on. Um, but the healing light one, I know that was that was frustrating for many, many times. Many stun times it, I was fighting stun cats. it, stun it, let's go. Yeah, it's oh, like man. just unlock them let's go but yeah so i'm glad to see that one reduced now i'm curious if it's going to be like 80 percent heal or if it's gonna be 20 percent. like what it's i going like to how be. the captains offer a challenge but i guess yes. the, the numbers are going to be a uh, chaos what about you man which ability is it where it turns into a ball of fire where you can't touch him then he comes back as fully healed from which the ability ashes. is that from the ashes yeah so i had a problem where i went to him he wasn't even, I mean, he would start a cooldown, but the cooldown, like the bar going across would be almost instant to the point where I couldn't. Every time I got him down to 10%, it would instantly trigger. And I took him down almost 12 times, I think. And then I just gave up and went back. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a bug or whatever, but as soon as it hit that 10%, I would follow it up with a ground slam to stun him. 
nothing would affect him. He'd go straight back into it. That was probably the most frustrating thing I had, but I have heard from a few people that they found those bosses a little difficult, so I think the changes are okay, and I think they were needed. They have, I don't think they're going to nerf them down to the ground, but I think they'll give people a few more seconds here and there to um, make it a little more accessible to players. Mm -hmm. Give them a little more of that thinking time and reaction time that they need. Death Monkey says the cabin boss was the worst. He that he ran out of ads to kill, <laughs> to heal. Like because you got to kill to heal, yeah. and so as a part yes. of it, like you got to sit here and you got to kind of plan that accordingly. And when it's just like Goss, where it's just him, like you will heal a little bit as a part of kind of like a smaller section of the bar. So you do have to at that point use some cover and kind of think through of that. But yeah, that's that was actually kind of a challenge whenever it would ultimately reset. What about you, uh, Johnny? Uh, what was your uh, expectation, of, like uh, review of the captains itself? Um, and I mean, all honesty, uh, I never had any issues with the captains. Uh, I played co-op mostly through most of the demo. I didn't solo a whole lot. Uh, I think out of the thirty-two and a half hours I played, I may have, I don't know, maybe three hours solo, if that. And that was only just to capture like game footage, mm -hmm. you know, for my build and stuff like that. But um, I did you know, have some good ears within the the official discord. I try to stay out of official discords because a lot of big egos in those places. And I, I don't, I don't tolerate it very well. Um, but you know, my guys that uh, back me up in my discord, you know, they kind of let me know, Hey, you know, there's a lot of these issues going on. There's a lot of this drama going on and so forth. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know, I, I, I like that type of, you know, passive intake of information. You know what I mean? Let, let them deal with that drama. I don't like it. But um, yeah, I mean, I think that the, the changes they made to the captains is overall good for the community because I know that there were definite issues with, um, you know, some players, like I, you know, like I said in my video last time, you know, skill caps for people, you know, not everybody plays the games the same. You know, some, some players are just naturally better than others. And if, you know, you toss in RNG with that, you know, maybe they're not getting the drops to, you know, give themselves a good build. Maybe it's mismatched or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I think that they handled the changes very well, and I think they were very appropriate. So, Soro, uh, Icymo says, the best part of the captains is that they have various ability combinations. Have you experienced anything that was surprising to you? Um, I can't remember which captain or which boss it is, but I kept getting comboed with, like, a freeze, mm -hmm. and then he would use the fire tornado or whatever. Mm. that's a rough and one like you're just you're just stuck there you can't move and you're just getting engulfed like um yeah cool awesome i can't move and then i mean what's nice about the trickster though is the uh the shield yeah so you know you hit that shield and then if that happens you get frozen and then you're caught in the fire and whatnot you're okay for a little bit longer than usual that, that but it's still annoying. gonna hurt <laughs> that freeze is annoying that, that <laughs> like i don't mind being on fire because i can roll and roll freeze it's like i can't use my abilities i can't move and then i'm like oh, I, i'm sure that's how my enemies feel because like I, I love freeze <laughs> bullets in that regard here's the thing i don't think we've seen all the abilities that captains have every time oh, i feel like we've not. seen all their abilities oh, no i see a new one I, if y'all like, if anybody here is a Diablo fan, which as a looter podcast, I would hope so. Otherwise, get out. <laughs> um, but it's like I actually saw where they had the like the orbs of light spinning around the the field, mm -hmm. and they were like, I was like, holy crap! Like that that was like when I thought I saw everything, I saw that, and that's when I knew we have no idea what they're about to throw at us. This is freaking exciting, and so I'm really thrilled by that. All right, so let's jump back in more to our changes. Okay. So those are the changes to captains. Goss changes. Goss is going to have his health points increased for repeat playthroughs. So uh, your 10 second bu uh, build guide there, uh, Johnny's just going out the window, I guess. We'll see. I'm sure you'll you'll rise to the challenge. Uh, this is to ensure that he remains fun and challenging for players who are overpowered at this point in the story. Kind of makes sense. Uh, Goss's healing ability and his ability still wall will actually be increased. So some minor changes there. I don't like Goss. I just I have I've only farmed him a little bit because I've actually had more fun farming the uh, the quest the side quest than just kind of doing him on a, a chest repeat. But yeah, I'm excited to see that. I'm kind of curious because one of the things that I hope to see and we've kind of seen it in the uh, in the world tiers is how they introduce new mechanics to the to the fights and honestly i would i hope that with goths as the world tiers go up there's more of that not just like life but like it would be neat to see if he ever got an ad phase or or something like that or uh, of that nature but we'll ultimately have to see all right here's the meat here's the meat i know all y'all have been waiting for 
changes to loot drops. Uh, while we do not want to prevent farming runs, we get it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a looter. Uh, the loot cave discovered via the triple chest run, as well as the store exploit, do not feel to be within the spirit of the game. To that end, we're going to be redirecting farming efforts to mechanics in the game that may be more enjoyable for players to play through and repeat. So, epic items will no longer appear in shops and vendors within the demo. Like, you know, within the demo. That's, that's, a, that's a key aspect there. Chests will no longer drop legendary items. And that's not cla cla classified as the demo. Uh, and then side quest rewards on repeat runs will now have a chance to drop legendary weapons. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Vulcan. Is this, is, this, is this good? Is this bad? What's your take? So, um, a mixed... So the epic items, I think that makes total sense. Um, you know, them not appearing in the demos, fine. Um, we weren't supposed to have access to them to begin with, and uh, <laughs> manipulating the yeah, <laughs> manipulating the clock um, is is something that it's an old school trick. But um, in kind of a minor segue there, somebody in my Discord I haven't tested it yet though, but they said you can if you manipulate the clock um, and you buy an item and you go back, it'll actually remove the item from your inventory and you'll still have the scrap charged. So I haven't tested that yet, but curious to see if that's another thing that they kind of put in there. Um, as for the chest not dropping legendary items, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I think there was a really good conversation that I was a part of and they were talking about um, let's have chests drop from you know bosses mm -hmm. those can have legendaries um higher world tiers those can have legendaries but just have a kind of like a threshold almost um i think removing them completely out of chests that's going to invalidate chests at higher world tiers mm -hmm. why would i stop for a chest if it's going to drop something that i don't really need so i don't really want them to do that because that's going to remove a total game feature um and then side quests dropping legendary rewards i really like um, one of the things I really liked about Destiny 1 was a chance at an exotic bounty whenever mm -hmm. you turned a bounty in. So having that kind of just like, oh my gosh, like, you know, hype moment um, when you get a legendary uh, reward is going to be really, really cool. So I like that they went that direction with it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Cass? Me, I think the side quest having the actual legendaries is a really good thing. I said this in my video recently as well. It's one of the features that I actually really, really think they did well in actually doing. Removing them from the chests entirely, I think, is the wrong move. It's just going to completely undermine them. But they have said on Twitter that this is something they're looking into as a long-term thing to try and find a solution because they don't themselves believe completely and utterly removing it is the right solution. But they also don't want people to just farm them all day and get legendaries that way. They want people to earn their legendaries through actual gaming mechanics, the fun way. So that it is, it's, it should come back at some point, but probably with a really, really low drop rate to make it worthwhile. Um, Epic from the vendors, I think that's fine. I've got no problem with that. It's a demo. We weren't supposed to have access to it anyway. But yeah, I think the side quest rewards is great. I think that should have been there from the very beginning. Really not sure why it wasn't. Um, removing them completely from the chests, as in for the entire game for the time being, I think is a knee-jerk reaction for them just to get a handle on the thing and decide how they want to go forward with it. And I'm okay with that. They've openly come and said, that this is what they're doing. This is where they're at right now. They are looking into ways to reintegrate it. And, you know, that level of transparency, I'm okay with because they just haven't just said we're removing it. And that's the end of that. Johnny. The thing that I found probably the most interesting out of it all was you can get legendaries in the demo, but now you can't even get epics. I thought it was kind of weird that a legendary could drop from any mob or any chest to begin with, but yet you couldn't get epics. I, I found that kind of curious and I wasn't even actually the one who uh, pointed it out at first. It was actually my buddy Trent, uh, who's actually hanging out in the chat. He's the one that actually pointed that out. He's like, it makes no sense that you can get legendaries, but you can't get epics. And then it was like, uh, maybe the very next day, that's whenever somebody posted on the official discord that, hey, they pop up in vendors. So I find it curious that they would make changes to the legendaries in the demo, but then just remove epics entirely. Why not just remove legendaries entirely and just, you know, make uh, make epics or something like that, you know, but yeah. I think they could have given epics the exact same treatment, like give you a chance for them to drop from the same side quest, but to remove them entirely, but leave legendaries in there. 
it almost doesn't make any sense. And I'd be actually curious to see a statement from them as to why they made the decision that they did to do it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to come back to that because I have a thought, but Sorg, uh, Sorg and then Chaos. Uh, honestly, I don't have any problems with it at all because I'm switching from Steam to Stadia. So <laughs> he's, losing all his, all. he's losing all his progress. And his point isn't valid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I get what they're, what, they're, what they're trying to do, where they're coming from with it. I... Uh, they don't want everybody to be super maxed out whenever the game actually launches, which makes sense for the length and the life of the game. Chaos. Yes. So. Yeah, so what I was going to say was, with legendaries, the drop rates from those chests or from the bosses are extremely low. Mm-hmm. However, the epics, which are supposed to drop from World Tier 6 or 7, I believe, according to the devs, if they were to drop now, would have a much higher drop rate especially if they were going to integrate them into World Tier 5. Mm-hmm. So you'd expect to see a lot more of them. And like Soro just said, it's a way of just gating us so we're not over-leveling within the demo. That's the At least that's the way I see the thinking process behind not putting epics because having you all blue going into the demo, I mean, you're going to be drowning in epics anyway by the time once the game comes out. But it's just them just trying to curb the process. At least they're not curbing the XP, right? <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound like they're messing anything with the XP. But to speak on that note, like talking about um, the drop rate of the legendaries, because I'm glad you brought that up, because that was going to be my thought, is that I honestly hope legendaries are insanely rare. Like, I, I want them to be as rare as they are now, because I think that's going to make them really exciting to get. And mm-hmm. when it comes down to the power, even in all blues, I feel powerful. Those mods change the way you play. They change how you approach. Like when we talked earlier about like our impressions, like once I got in the weapon that you're seeing me use right here uh, on uh, on my Technomancer is, uh, is Thunderbird. And it completely changed the way I play Technomancer because I can actually be a little bit more aggressive and upfront and, and personal as opposed to like typically wanting to play Technomancer at a range, uh, especially with their abilities and, and the different options they have. So a legendary can change the way you completely play your class. Every I, I feel like and that's the most exciting thing. And that means just like how uh, you know Johnny's putting out builds, I'm sure we're all going to be putting out different build videos and more like that. Be sure to go sub to these guys as just kind of a, a show check in be sure to go uh, in the links of this uh, video uh, go check out their content if you don't follow them already also like check in guys random uh, you know five million likes on this and i'll shave my head <laughs> on uh, on stream so just as a reminder thank you guys for your support uh as you, anyway um so the uh, that being that they have that impact and the being that the blues with their mods with epics and their mods like i don't think anybody's going to be sitting here saying i can't play this game at a high level if I don't have a legendary. I want legendaries to be just that holy crap moment. I can't believe I've got that. I've got that weapon now. And um, just because that's what keeps me going in. I actually don't feel bad when I don't get a legendary. I'm not opening that chest and I'm not killing that mob going, Mm -hmm. this sucks. I'm like, I'm having fun playing the game. And oh my God. And then you have those OMG moments where it's like, it's really impressive. And so that's honestly what I hope to see them carry forward. And then being that weapons and all this stuff upgrades by you inserting it, I think takes a little bit of that sting off of RNG. If you can continue to feed your gear and your weapons and and stuff like that, every drop ultimately has a value and they're just going to range in your, in your value. And if you're having fun to fun game to play moment, that ultimately is, uh, is the real takeaway winner there. All right. So I do agree on the chess thing. I think there has to be a solution. I think the solution that people have come up with now, like what people are doing now doesn't live into the fun, right? It's you're just resetting and opening chess. Like, okay, you're, you're just going to the store buying scratch off lottery tickets and you keep losing, you know, <laughs> but like if you're actually playing the game and having fun, moving it, moving the rewards, it seems like from the chest into side quests. There's no reason to turn in that side quest right now. And the next week, turning in that side quest could reward you a legendary. I think that brings value back into the side quest in a way that's acting as a boss chest, right? Like I kill the boss and now I'm going to go collect the chest from the person who has that original side quest. I like that. What I would love to see, and I didn't see them here saying, can I just auto skip and accept the, the quest, please? Because the accept let's go run quest mm-hmm. like that in and of itself is going to be the meme 
that Outriders is going to produce. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, welcome to the Outriders game. This is what you're going to see. Lots of awesome action. And <laughs> anyway. someone needs to clip that. They really need to clip that. <laughs> ah, we're on YouTube. You can't clip that. <laughs> oh, YouTube. I hope that you really enjoyed that highlight, and I hope that you check out the full podcast. Again, link is in the description. Thanks for being here, and I hope you have a fantastic day, you wonderful, beautiful individuals.